you know, they come in all forms. Mm -hmm. And I don't have a particular story. What I have is a, what I have is a look at my life. It wasn't particularly hard, but it was by no means easy. Mm -hmm. And a lot of it is my own just bad decisions. But mm -hmm. if I look along the way, like I said, having no real particular skills, no, no, you know, leg up and look where I am, just things always fell in the right place for me. Mm. It might have been a, a supervisor in my young career at a job that when they seen I was going somewhere, just gently nudged me like, you need to try this. In the military, when I started doing things that probably wasn't the wisest, someone I don't know what it is. I don't know if it was my bald head, my skinny head. What made them say, hey, you, Bradley, mm -hmm. come on, let me talk to you for a minute. You know, you'd be better off doing this and guide me in another way. Mm -hmm. It's when uh, I think about the people in my life that have the impact. Like, no wonder I'm not doing bad things mm -hmm. and why I feel the way I feel is because everyone in my life is a positive mm -hmm. impact. Did, did they come? Did I attract them? Did they attract me? But yeah, who knows? Mm -hmm. They're there. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. I mean, yeah, so I these, can't. These little nudges along the way in the journey. Yes. Shape you. And I preached that to my kids because I said, no matter who you meet, where they are in life, they didn't make one major decision and now they're in prison. Yeah. or they don't have a job and they're still, you know, supporting a family of four and they unfortunately are working fast food. That's not, it's not one thing they did that got them there. It's little bitty things along the way. It's a, it's a, a decision when you leave a classroom and you decide to turn left or right. Right is with your friends, you're gonna go hang out in the parking lot. Left is, you're gonna go to the library and hit that. Mm -hmm. It's a little decision there and then another little decision. And over time, and it's a feeling and a nudge. And that's those little angels and blessings that yeah. come in them gut that yeah. it's, you know, telling you. And, and don't ignore those. That's what I tell you all about. Don't ignore that. It's something. Yeah. And, uh, and it can be subtle, right? It's very subtle most of the time, I think. Right. Right. Uh, unless you start paying attention to it. And then mm -hmm. I've heard people who say they hear God. Yeah. I, I think that's what they're alluding to. <laughs> I never heard them speaking directly to me. Me neither. <laughs> but I think right. those are the signs maybe. Mm -hmm. So, and the people who are really in tune with it, I think maybe that's what they're talking about because they can hear it more clearly because that's, they used to listening to that. I'm imagining. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sometimes the voice of God sounds strangely a lot like other people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 